Hi my loves and welcome back. It's your girl, Tanelle of Kinky to the Core. And today it's all about DIY natural looking hair clippings. I got so many likes on Instagram and Facebook in regards to my clippings and where did I get them. So, what you'll need. Two packs of equal Cuban twist braidable weaving hair in 12 inches. But I only use one pack. Wig clips, medium size. Weave thread and needle, assorted needle, and the process. As you can see, the weft of the hair is quite thin. You will want to measure the length of the clip in based on the area that you're placing it in your head. So now that I have previously measured it, I am doubling it up. As I stated, the weft is quite thin, so I wanted to make the weft thicker so the wig clip can have enough space to be sewn onto and also create more thickness with each clip so you're going to take your weaving needle and weavable thread and begin to sew from end to end now just a warning as i stated these wefts are quite thin so be care careful not to poke yourself and if you're not used to sewing in tracks or making wigs, this process may take 5 to 10 minutes per clip-in. As you can see, I'm sewing the length of the track from end to end. Now once you are finished, you're going to cut the thread and begin to tie a knot to secure your sewing. This is how it will look once you complete this step. I previously did two, so they are arranged in different sizes. And now we're going to begin to sew in the clip-ins. You're going to need a needle and the clip-in and a heavy doodle strong needle. You cannot use the weaving needle because it does not fit in the hole of the clipping. So what I'm doing, I'm taking the needle with the same weavable thread and sewing on the wig clip. Just to let you know, it may get a little bit difficult sewing the needle through the hole because the thread is quite thick. So just keep that in mind and use a little bit of force. Now once you have completed that, this is how it will look depending on how many clips. Um, two other tracks I use three clips and one track I use two. So these are the finished tracks that I'll be using. Now I have clip ends. Off camera I did a two strand twist with the Bantu knot using Beautiful Textures curling cream. You're going to need a bowl and I'm placing each of the clip ends into the bowl and adding boiling hot water. Remember, be careful. I'm going to cover the tracks completely in the water and I'm going to let it sit for anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. Once they are finished, I'm going to put them on hangers and let them air dry overnight. As you can see, there's the clip in. This track has three. The Bantu knot. And this is how it looks once you remove the Bantu knot and the two strand twist. And if this clip in only has two clips. So now I'm just going to finish 
taking down the two, two strand twist and the bantu knot. I previously did a two strand twist on my hair. Now I'm taking them down so we can install the clip ins. Now, whatever style you decide to do with the clip ins, do it on your natural hair. And you want to measure the track along your hairline or your hair to install the clip ins. I'm just going to continue this process with all three clip ins. Now all three are in. I'm going to begin to separate the twist of my hair and the clip ins to make it look more realistic and natural. To make it look even more natural, I'm going to do a flat twist along my hairline in the front and as I begin to flat twist I'm also grabbing hair from the clip in to make it look natural and once you've finished the flat twist just simply add a couple of bobby pins to secure the flat twist You're going to repeat the same step on the other side. Now that I finished both sides of the flat twist, I'm just going back in, fluffing my hair, making sure that none of the tracks are shown. I know, I know, the bobby pin is showing, but we'll fix that in one second. Now I'm taking a razor and creating layers in my hair and also shortening the length. You can also use scissors in this procedure. Now once that's completed, see I told you guys I will fix the bobby pin. Anyway, so now I'm just going back in and separating a little bit further and fluffing and making sure the track is completed and giving myself some volume. Hey, I like big hair. So let's get these edges under control. I'm using Lottie Body's Edge Control Gel to give my edges the sleek look that I like. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will try these simple, easy DIY clips that you can add to any hairstyle at any time. And as always, thank you for watching. I love you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button, comment, and share. 
You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and